if if you would follow me. Uh, if you, if oh, you yeah, so kindly to follow me too. By the way, I made the mistake of being in VR for too long, and this controller has one bar of battery. Let's go. So welcome to the bathtub, man. Uh, it's a pleasure for you to agree to to join me. Ah, uh, well, you know, my agent said I had to come here, otherwise I was gonna get sued. I got your, uh, your letter in the mail. Yeah, you know, it's like, I hate doing that kind of stuff, but business is business. Hey, look, I understand, I understand. Why do you think Bill Gates is on my hate list? Uh, but... It'd be like that. <laughs> yeah, it do. But thanks for having me, Steve. It's no problem, man. So, so, I, I consulted my team for a couple of questions before before coming mm -hmm. here and they actually came up with a couple of really good uh, ones so i guess oh, i guess okay. i'm gonna start off kind of slow and simple i, I want to know how did you start doing youtube like what what gave you your how inspiration did I start? Mm. oh that's easy so it all started when i was a wee lad i was about i don't know maybe 10 11 i have no idea i used to watch a youtuber no, uh, known as he still he still goes by his name but he's KYR CD him and his group of friends they were called the crew and my cousin introduced me to them because they made funny Call of Duty videos and the first the first second I watched his video I knew right then and there that I wanted to do the same thing I wanted to be a, a youtuber a, a content creator just like him and eventually, more people came from there that I, uh, I became a fan of, grew, grew out of, you know, it just comes and goes, but that's how I got my inspiration to, to do this, was from KYR Speedy. That's very interesting. Um, mm -hmm. so how did you, how did you get the name The Masked Luchador? Like, I mean, I know well, what your costume you is based off that. of, but... You know, it's what the, the old name. one was based The old off one, the old one, yes. Yeah, the color scheme that. is still the same, yeah. So, let's start off where it all began. My YouTube channel, the one that's known as The Master Luchador now, didn't always have that name. It used to be uh, OG Boss HD. Well, actually, it used to be a bunch of other crap beforehand. There's too many to name. But I just kept changing the name because I didn't like it. I didn't think it was original enough. And eventually, I was like, you know what? My favorite movie as a kid growing up was Nacho Libre, and I always loved, I love like his sense of humor, I love the movie because it's hilarious, so I decided to just become the masked luchador. Since Nacho Libre is a wrestler, in Spanish it's luchador, I just decided to put masked in front of it because, obviously, I'm wearing a mask. So that's what my original costume was based off of. It was based off Nacho Libre's uh, wrestling outfit. And then eventually, I upgraded and I became a full-fledged superhero. And that's about it. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah, it sounds pretty straightforward. Yeah, what can I say? I've always been a big fan of superhero stuff too, so I incorporated that into the, the wrestling thing, and it just all became one whole thing. So I got a little bit of my culture there got a little bit of my hobbies and some nerdy superhero stuff I, I don't know it's just um it's just things i like so i incorporated it into my persona is that the same with your your superpower oh uh, <laughs> my superpower okay so that is just because your boy your boy likes to release gas okay i like to fart i like to let it rip like beyblades so um after a while, I just kept farting in videos, so we decided to to just say I, my superpower was a farting power, and we called it Extreme Winds. And uh, yeah, it's it's stuck ever since. And now it's more of like a it used to be kind of like a gag power. Now I kind of feel like it's it's more badass, kind of. You know, it's still a fart, but it's advanced. Advanced farting. Mm -hmm. it's, it's something I wouldn't, you know, people wouldn't think to do. So it's very creative. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but nowadays I don't really do um, any like superhero videos. Like, the only reason we became superheroes, my friends and I, is because we were doing my hero videos. 
I eventually stepped away from my hero. I still keep the outfit on because, you know, it's just whatever, it's me. But I don't really do like any the My Hero slash superhero videos anymore. Right now I'm just focused on, on Attack on Titan. Is there a reason that you stepped away from a hero? Or was that just a content? Uh thing? yeah, I just got I just got tired of it. And I I did my hero stuff with my friends for I don't even know how long. It's been I don't know, maybe I'd say two years, two, three years. Eventually I grew out of it. I got bored of it. And um, it's just, I don't know, it just wasn't, I wasn't having fun. So I experimented, I tried a bunch of things. Those things didn't work. Eventually, one of my friends tried Attack on Titan videos that blew up for him. So I was like, you know what? Eh, let's try it. I think I could do, I can do this. There's a new thing called Shorts on YouTube. So you can make short ass videos um, and you can have a theme around them. Right now, for now, the popular thing is still to do Attack on Titan shorts. So I've been doing that and I've been incorporating longer videos as well. But uh, that's that's kind of how I just started doing Attack on Titan stuff. That's actually kind of interesting because I've seen a lot of <laughs> Attack on Titan shorts. Honestly, just because I mm -hmm. watch the, the videos that I'm in, I'm like, oh, hell yeah. And it's like, <laughs> cool, it's because that I worded that poorly. It's because I like been watching your and lights videos. And so like there's my, my recommendations mm -hmm. are just filled with AOT shorts, but not from you guys. Yeah. I never get recommended your guys. Oh yeah. There's, there's a bunch of people doing them. It's it be like that. It do be like, uh, that YouTube's that. weird. I don't know. Uh, like for sure. It's, it's just an algorithm. I don't know how it works to be honest. I, what I've been doing is I've been just going with the trends right now. It, it's dying already, but I'm still working on the Attack on Titan shorts. I'm trying to incorporate other things like so I'm trying to switch it up because it, it's oversaturated right now. Everyone and their mom's doing it. And I'm not going to lie, the ones that I do see are pretty bad. I'm not trying to say mine or my friends are better, but it, you could definitely tell which ones are high production and which ones are not but I think that's what you need to do when you try to do YouTube you always have to try to be different from the other people and for sure I think I I do a good job of making them high quality I try to switch it up but yeah that's I just kind of right now I'm focusing on trends so I'm trying to incorporate other anime into the sh shorts category so I'm working on like Jutsu Kaisen. I'm gonna try to probably do some other anime that are popular and we'll see where it goes. It's a pretty good marketing strategy. Yeah, because the it's you know the Attack on Titan stuff's not gonna last forever, especially when it ends. For sure it's probably the hype's gonna die down for it on YouTube. For the for the shorts anyway. I don't know about long term. But it's always good to experiment and try the things. That way you're not always stuck in one spot because that's how that's how i felt with my hero the longest time i felt stuck and i felt like i just had to keep doing my hero content to like stay afloat on youtube and honestly i did i did have to do that so but i was not having fun i was sad all the time because i didn't want to do it so eventually i just stopped and then i just tried other things and like i said before those things didn't work at all but i just kept going and eventually eventually something will fall into your lap and it'll work so for anyone out there that has a youtube channel or wants to make one it's you're not going to become successful overnight and even uh if you do which is very rare if you do the success might not always stay unless you keep switching things up and keep the people who are watching you entertained so that's my uh my that's my number one thing if you're starting youtube always stay on your grind and try to be different from everyone else okay uh i guess i'm gonna stray away from a couple of youtube related questions um a, qu a question uh, my friend gave me which i thought was very entertaining is um <clears throat> if you were mm -hmm. a flintstone character what flintstone character would you be hmm I would say I'm a very outgoing and wacky dude. So I would probably be Spike. 
That's the name of their pet dinosaur, right, Bike? I think so. That sounds right. Yeah, I'd be that crazy little dude. You'd be the dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would. It took me a second to process that. That's I'm like, wait. Right. That's not a person. <laughs> that's that's literally He's a awesome. Dog. He's awesome. Yeah, I wouldn't be a person. I'd be the di I'd be the dinosaur. Final <laughs> I was answer. not expecting that. But that's very that's yeah, very Yeah, what can I say? Be different. <laughs> be mm -hmm. different. <laughs> 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 what can I say? <laughs> no complaints. That's fascinating. <laughs> fascinating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know. Tell me, tell me about yourself outside of the internet. Do you do outside anything? of the internet? Well, <laughs> do, do you have any hobbies? Other than not that? really. <laughs> not really. I used to. I used to like going out with IRL friends. You know, we would go eat, go do whatever. Because it, it used to be the norm, but that was back when I was in high school. Even like the summer after I graduated, we would go out, do do a bunch of crap. But eventually, I just became more of a, a homebody. So I just like to stay home, to be honest. I like to stay home, watch some shows, play some video games, just hang out with my with my online friends. I don't have any other hobbies really besides gaming and content creating. Which is kind of sad, but you know it is what it is. I, I I went from being a social life guy to just staying at home. I I guess a I guess a hobby I'm working on is uh I guess exercising. I'm making a gym in my garage, and I'm gonna be doing that in my free time, and I don't have anything else to do. That's not for YouTube. So I guess that's about it. Can't wait for the gym workout routine videos. You know, you get your Sponsored by Colgate, <sighs> Optic White, you know, you wake up with the <laughs> copyright Shiniest music. teeth around. <laughs> <laughs> wake uh, up with like man, rose petals no, and the day that happens. You know, that would be a cool idea, like, not, not video-wise, but uh, maybe streaming it. But that'd be a lot of work. I'd have to set up a whole what? thing in the garage, so probably not. Like streaming, <laughs> like workouts, so that'd be kind of cool, but it's a lot of work. <clears throat> yeah, I would imagine so. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess I, I know the answer to some of these questions that I'm going to ask, but people watching probably won't. So I want to know, like, how did the process mm -hmm. of making your videos go? Like, how how do you... Oh, uh -huh, the process. The process. Are we talking about current videos or, like, past videos? Let's do current, because I mean, it's probably right. fresh okay. in your mind. Alright, so, at the moment, for the current videos, I I literally think of the video ideas on the spot. Like, it, when, it, when it's the day of, I'll sit there in my chair and I'll be, I'll be like, hmm, what should I do for a video today? And the second anything random just pops in my head, I'm like, oh, alright, let's go do it. But, on Sundays, which is when the Attack on Titan episodes air, I try to make something that relates from the episode like a week, a week or two in advance. That way I have it ready for that Sunday. So I'll have some that are planned and literally the rest of them are just impromptu, random on the spot videos. It's always something random too. So that's about, that's about it. I just have a wild imagination. That's, that's a good thing. Yeah, I guess. <clears throat> People don't. I I think of some crazy things. That is true. I think it depends on what you do with that creativity. That's true. Um, how does? So I guess how how do recordings go? What do you? What's your oh, process? Okay. So, for the most part. My friends and I, when we record, it's either 50-50. It goes smooth, we get it done right away, I'd say in like 30 minutes. And the other 50% is when it goes... It goes into like an hour. An hour and a half. Just because sometimes my friends are very hard to control. Like They're all just like haywired and full of energy. 
so they're running around they don't listen very well it just depends you know but that's usually how my videos go for recordings anyway just just either yeah i i get that 50 50. Except for my I mean, you've been that, to some of them. You know how it goes. I, 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 I have goes. been. I, th I feel like I've been to more of the the good part. But, I mean, I can also <laughs> say that I mean me and Tort a couple of the times, you know. Off in the, off mm -hmm, in the corner, mm -hmm. just giggling. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Tort. Tort is the one I have the most trouble with. Actually, yeah. Yeah, Tort. Second would be light. Sometimes I want to <laughs> beat the crap out of both of them. Ah. <laughs> uh, how sad for them. Sometimes. Or maybe how lucky for them, <laughs> I don't know what they're into. Masochism mm -hmm. is a fun thing that most people keep hidden. Mm -hmm. You never know until you beat the shit out of one of your friends for being stupid and they moan, you know? That's true. That's why I don't yell at Van Hey, anymore. sometimes you gotta beat it into them. It's hard love, you know? <laughs> tough love. Yes. Yes. Very tough. And do you edit your videos right away after you're done recording? You just like immediately hop off, get them done, or does it depend? Good question. Um, I would say it does depend unless it's the day of and I haven't posted. So for those of you who don't know, I also work a another job, IRL obviously, uh, besides YouTube. So I'll go there early in the morning, I'll work, do my thing, come home usually come home around 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock. It depends. But when I come home, I quickly eat or I quickly do whatever I got to do. And then I get on record. If it's a good day, I'll get it done really fast. Like I said, if it's a bad day, it'll take a couple hours. Uh, and the editing wise, that usually takes about... I would say if it's, if it's a good day, a, a good hour of editing. And if it's a longer video, uh, a more thought out idea, it'll obviously take longer. But yes, uh, so like I said, it does depend on the day. But that's about usually how it goes for editing anyway. It's interesting. And I, mm -hmm. I would ask about thumbnails, but you just take a picture during the... The, re uh, the recording process. Thank you for asking about thumbnails. You see, I'm a very picky thumbnail guy. I'm a very picky everything. But thumbnails on YouTube, I would say, are the most important thing besides the title for your videos. Now, before I used to just take in-game pictures, or sorry, before uh, I used to have drawn thumbnails made. Nowadays, I do in-game pictures that I take and edit a little bit in Photoshop and then use as thumbnails. But before I used to get drawn stuff and I would always try to pick the best thing from the video to put as the theme of the thumbnail. Because if you have a catchy, vibrant, eye-attracting thumbnail, people will be tempted to click on it more. Same with the title. You need something catchy, something interesting. So. I used to be a really picky guy when it came to thumbnails. I would always be looking for the best art, the best everything. And I eventually did find that with one of my friends. And we've been working together for, I don't even know how long, maybe three years in running. Her name is Silby and she is my thumbnail artist. I don't really get a lot of John thumbnails anymore, but she does still help out with some of the channel art or whatever else I need. She's amazing. We've been working together for a very long time. She's very nice. She's fast and she's a very great artist. But uh, even with the in-game screenshots, like I said, I try to be different. I'll edit them. I'll try to make like different thumbnails than what you see on YouTube already from the recommended AOTVR stuff. And that's about it. I just, I don't know. I'm very picky fascinating i just do nothing if i do a naruto thing <laughs> i get my friend kazuto to draw something because he never does anything and he's just like what should i draw and i'm like you could draw me a naruto thumbnail you know as a suggestion <laughs> for his art project for school and he's like yes mm. of course and i'm just like awesome or i'll just take a <laughs> screenshot and it's like mm, perfect mm. 
it be like that. You know, you gotta start somewhere. True. You got any other advice for for the people watching? Not necessarily. Uh, yes, I do people, actually. But like just just advice. Now this is some advice for life. Okay. Look. It's there's uh we're living in a world right now. Everyone's having a tough time. There's a bunch of crazy stuff going on in the world. And a lot of people might be feeling sad or full of anger. You might not too. But for the people who are feeling that way, you know, things things get tough. But there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. You have to keep fighting, keep trying to pursue happiness, pursue whatever it is you're trying to achieve. You need a goal or goals. Always keep your head up and remember to at least try to smile a couple times a day. Because I've been there, I'm sure you have. You just feel depressed sometimes and you feel like feel like life sucks and everything everything means nothing that's why you got to surround yourself with good friends family people you can trust and talk to maybe you have a significant other you you need these connections these bonds and trust me everything your life it'll all be better so keep your heads up kings and queens that was actually really nice <laughs> Stop it. I'm a tough guy. <laughs> I just My arm broke there, but it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes you just break, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Mostly because my sensors are in different spots in the room, which I need to fix, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> I feel that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sometimes, yes, this needs to be done, but it's so... Mm -hmm. It's like, it's not even a ton of work, but it's just like, I just, nah, I'll do it later, and then, you know, a yep. month later, it's like, I remember, you should probably do that. I remember the, <laughs> I remember the exact day I became a procrastinator. It was sophomore year of high school. My friends in my biology, no, my chemistry class, they taught me what it was like to be a procrastinator. We like immediately stop turning in work in like the middle of the year we stop listening all we would do is goof around and ever since then i've become a really bad procrastinator but the day of like two days before it, it was always hardwired into my brain since that day i sit there and i get that shit done but it takes me a while it takes me a while to usually get that stuff done especially when it's stuff i can do in my house it's just because it's so easy and I can do it every day. I just choose not to. Yeah. But man, procrastination is real. It's a struggle. I've got so much homework due tomorrow. And it's like, I've had a week to do this, but I've chosen to not do it, even though it's really easy. Mm hmm And you know what you should do? Not do it. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not doing it uh... tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, that's when you do your best work. Yeah, that's yeah. That's when the procrastinator does their best work. Last minute. I usually so, film. All, I usually. If you're in school. <laughs> now you know. I, I upload these top talk videos every Thursday, and ninety percent mm. of the time I upload them Wednesday night or like record them Wednesday night with my friends, and I'm like, guys, guys, please. So I have something to <laughs> upload the next day. So I'm like up all late and shit and just recording it and editing it. And it's like mm -hmm. one in the morning and I'm like, well, how lovely for me. Hey, well, that's good. That's good. At least you have a schedule. Well, that's another important thing for, for YouTube. It's always good to have a schedule. And that uh, now knowing that you upload these on Thursdays, that's really good. Now you can keep up with it. You, you're mm -hmm. basically forcing yourself to do it. It's li literally but, the only thing. This is the only thing I have scheduled is the Tub Talk videos. I upload mm. one every every Thursday, and then everything else I upload mm. is just whenever I feel like it. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna say like too, if you ever feel like you're too tired to do it, don't force yourself to keep doing them, even if even if it's on a set schedule. Sometimes you need a day for yourself. Like today, I'm just chilling. 
I usually try to upload daily since I upload shorts and they're really easy to edit and put out. But today I'm taking me day. I'm just chilling. I'm, I'm sitting here in the bathtub or whatever this is. Yeah, bathtub probably. Yeah. And I'm just relaxing. I'm gonna watch the Justice League movie later. It's gonna be nice. Ooh, the live action one? Mm hmm. The Zack, the Zack Snyder cut. Mm hmm. It's gonna be Just Kiss. Super I hope movies anyway. These are the best movies. They are. They really are. Um, I guess I can ask some more generic questions. Like, oh, what, what's your current yeah, she... favorite movie? Is it still Nacho Libre or is it something else? Well, you see, I'm a big movie guy. So technically, I never really have a favorite movie because I watch a lot of stuff. So it's always changing, but my favorite childhood movie for sure, hands down, will always be not too great. That one was just a classic. Do you have a comfort? But movie? I have like in my head, in my head, they're in different categories. Uh, a comfort movie. Yeah, like that movie. I don't know. Like, you, like my comfort movie is Dodgeball. Um, it's a movie about dodgeball with ben stiller in it and oh yeah obviously it's, yeah obviously <laughs> it's super it's super um, it's a movie nobody ever thinks about but it's like i don't know what to watch today uh, let's just go watch dodgeball for the eighth time this week you know one of those kind that's of that's one thing i can't do i can't stand doing that i cannot watch the same thing that i've already seen over and over again it is annoying especially with movies <sighs> yeah I don't know, especially with movies. If I have recently seen the movie, I don't want to watch it again. Not for like another f like three, four, maybe a whole like months, a year. I don't know. I'm very picky with a lot of things. Food being one of them, movies being another. It's, it's just a whole bunch of stuff. My friend Turk watches yes, Kung Fu Panda I love six to watch times everything. in one day. I don't know how he did it. Like yeah, did. you see, you would never catch me doing that. I would go crazy. Like, at least watch Kung Fu Panda 1, 2, 3. <laughs> you just watched the first one six times. What the hell? Four hours. That's so... St <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's dumb. I, that I so know! Dumb. You, you have three movies to choose from. You the can watch all three. But the story behind it was so great. Like, he saw it in the theater twice because, like, friends invited him and he's, mm -hmm. like, not gonna turn them down. One, his roommate was playing it, and so he just sat and watched it with him. Three, like, some guy invited him to his house, and they were watching it. And then, the like, the sixth time, I, I don't exactly remember, but he just put it in himself. And I'm like, bro, are you okay? <laughs> no mentally sane person does that. Especially with a movie like <laughs> Kung Fu Panda. Also, that's what she said. Anyway, she... I'm mature, guys. I'm mature. <clears throat> yeah, the guy with the farting superpower is very mature, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I am very mature. The guy who wants to be the fucking dog from the Flintstones is very <laughs> mature. Hey, hey, listen. That's a very respectable character. It is. I'm, I apologize. Spike is a great dinosaur. I agree. Thank I you. agree. <laughs> so I actually have a question for you, Steve. Oh, shit. Nobody's ever asked What's me a question next? before. What's next for you? What's oh. next for you in life? What's your next chapter? Um, well, I, in real life, I'm in college and high school, and that's hard, but mm -hmm. it means I'm going to be able to go to college basically anywhere, so. That's good. Figuring out where I'm going to go to college, like, for real, I'm going to get mm -hmm. my film degree, like my dad. Uh, Let's go. You know, for, for YouTube, I got a big project that I'm working on with my friends, mm. uh, I released a trailer for it. It is a My Hero thing, but that's just because my <laughs> friends uh, really like My Hero. Hey, I don't blame them. You know, I like a lot of anime. So I don't blame anyone for liking anything. Unless it's like, like hentai. That's not Both anime. That's just hentai. You're weird. Hentai is great. Hey. Hentai is an important part of <laughs> nah, our culture. Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. If you like hentai, that's, that's whatever. That's on you. But it's nice that you have stuff like that you can you can do. And good, good luck with your uh, your college with your college stuff, your you. adult stuff. 
I don't want to though. I wish the best for you. I'm, I'm like waiting for. What do you? To what do you plan on? Uh, what do you plan on making? You want to be a director? Um, I my initial goal was to be an actor, but I mm -hmm. honestly the movie film acting industry is so physical appearance based that it's not looking good on my my end. Like I'm not um uh conventionally attractive like as in like movie mm. movie wise and so i realistically that's probably not the best career for me to go into so directing editing mm. like i i can edit pretty well like i'm doing after effects sort of stuff like you now i'm working on mm. doctor strange type stuff right now for oh fun. that's cool yeah because it's like i want to like Very get some nice. stuff under my belt before i start like applying to video companies bunch of places yes because mm. having stuff like that under your editing wing is something good to have to make you stand out um yeah but i guess i'm also gonna say too i want to add don't knock uh voice acting that's actually something i do want to try out at one point in my life i think i can do it i think i could be a good voice actor and you know if you don't if you don't think you can make it in in show business like hollywood being an actor on like films like that try voice acting you might you might end up liking the it only, well i i do do um some types of voice acting but the only reason i'm not super mm. open about it is because i'm friends with a lot of voice actors like mm. uh like especially in vrc like they are like really good in, in, in imitating voices i do a lot of accents yeah which is something people don't do a lot but i i I don't know. It's. I feel like I'm more likely to land. I'm trying. I try to think more realistically about things. I'm not very optimistic when it comes to life because mm -hmm. life sucks. Life is hard. I'm trying to find the most. I'm trying to think about the best ways that I can succeed and be conventionally mm -hmm. happy with my life. So being a video editor, yeah, there's I'm nothing more likely wrong to get with a that. Job. There's nothing wrong with that than compared to mm. a physical actor or a voice actor because those are hard and if you look at it this way i'm a very optimistic person most of the time you could become successful going that path right but who knows when you're successful you'll have more time you could even try doing the other way you can go the other path and you might end up becoming successful that way as well yeah mm -hmm. you're not wrong like so what can i say my persona is all wacky <laughs> and dumb, but I'm actually a genius inside. He's very intellectual, guys. He's got so much charisma. What can I say? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm stupid. No, nobody's stupid. Kidding again. Except for Anthony. Oh, no, people moms. are stupid. People are stupid. No. Oh, I don't know if you heard. I, I recently got canceled on Twitter. I don't use Twitter, but that's fun. What happened there? That's interesting. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, you know me, you know my personality. I'm a jokester. I like to troll people sometimes. And right now, a very popular anime known as Jujutsu Kaisen has three main characters. Obviously, it's it's like other anime. There's two boy main characters and one girl main character. I made a joke and compared it to Naruto, and I said the girl character was as useless as Sakura. And oh man, that got, what? they That's did so... not like it. <laughs> the, the, the gatekeepers for that anime did not like it. They're, they're all uh, apparently feminist and they they support uh, all people. But, ooh, the amount of death threats I got, oh my people god. People who be, do that are dumb as you fuck. Be, what the hell? You'd you be concerned. I mean, honestly, making jokes through text is really hard, though, to convey your sarcasm or to get... You can't mm. convey it as well as you can with your voice. But still, I That's people true. who give death threats over dumb shit like that is, <laughs> are... Yeah, it's so, so dumb. Guys, why? Like, who does that benefit? <laughs> Who? It's funny too, cause oh my gosh, dude! Like apparently, I'm labeled as a misogynist now. I hate women. How but nice! Obviously, I don't. I don't hate women. But since I hated a fictional woman, I hate all women now. 
It's just funny how people judge you based off of one or a couple things they see from you online. And whenever I try to be sarcastic through text, I make it very clear. Like I'll I'll capitalize words and then I'll do like the uh, the SpongeBob meme. I'll make mm-hmm. one small, one big, one small. It's very obvious when I when I use sarcasm. But I don't even even if it wasn't obvious enough, it's an opinion. Like you shouldn't care that much. You shouldn't care, especially about a fictional character. It's not that. It's not that big of a deal. Opinions just. You shouldn't in be telling people to kill themselves and. Just uh, just opinions in general. This is people dumb. who threaten people over opinions, even if like, I don't agree with them, still it's like, bruh. Opinions yeah. are opinions. Making death threats based on opinions is not cool. Mm. There, there is that one very thin line. I mean, opinion. But I mean, it does not relate. The death threat based on facts. Stuff. You know, like um, you, yeah. you believe the Earth is flat. Well, do I have some advice for you? <laughs> like, you know, I could tell you it's not, but then that's just my opinion, even though it's a fact. But hey, whatever, you know. True, true, true. To each their own. Obviously, the anime community nowadays, and any anime community is toxic so Mm -hmm. never talk trash about any female characters of any anime they will they will try to kill you You, there's they're either going to hardcore agree or hardcore disagree it's really a 50 50. yeah because it's like the joke that soccer anime is so gay everybody like is like yeah Mm -hmm. that's funny Ah, ha 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 but like new anime Mm -hmm. is like nope you can't get away with saying that apparently it's not funny anymore it's not funny anymore they take it so seriously like they think that these fictional women characters are gonna suck their dicks yeah so when you yeah so like when you say something about them they take it to heart like relax. It's, um, it's an anime. I, it's not I, that, I'm really it's offended not by your deal. comment. My sucker body pillow is not gonna sleep with me anymore. <laughs> so uh, I gotta it's argue fun, though. on the internet. I I can be an asshole though, so I like to be snarky and reply back to some of them. But definitely, I would say after this, go check out the thread. Just go through some of the quote retweets, some of the replies. It's crazy. It's a trip. I'm still trying to piss them off. Like I'll 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 tweet out some other crap. Recently, I tweeted out that Kakashi is is superior, and Gojo's just a, a ripoff of him. Stuff like that. Stuff to just get people mad. Just because I find it funny. Yeah, sometimes making people angry on the internet can be fun. <laughs> it sure can. Well, that's really interesting. I don't, I don't use Twitter. I, I follow my high school to get, like, updates. <laughs> on school stuff. Hey, like, I don't blame you. Twitter is, uh, it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it's very just toxic. But that goes with any social media, I guess. Yeah. So, I guess I can ask, like, a, a handful more of generic questions, and then I can wrap it up. So, like... You said you were picky good. about food, so like, what kind of foods are you you into, or not into? <laughs> Funny you bring that up, because I'm actually hungry right now. Currently, I've just been eating nothing but Subway. So Love I've Subway. just been getting like, yeah, it's so good. I've just been eating like steak subs with pepperoni, lettuce, spinach. Uh, I've been eating some chicken subs with more lettuce and crap like that. But for me, if I've never tried it, it's very hard for me to try it because I know I won't like it. So it's like it's like when you go to a restaurant, right? Obviously, you have to pay for the food. I don't want to order something that I have to pay for if I'm not gonna like it. If there's I'm the exact a chance that I'm not gonna way. like it, so <laughs> I stick like to the that. things I like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I order the same thing at every place. I'm like, I don't want to pay for something to try something new, but my friends are like, you mm-hmm. should try it. And I'm like, are you going to buy it for me? And they're like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, then exactly. fuck that. It is, there's a lot of factors that lead to pickiness. It's like, ah, uh, dude, I don't know. But for food especially, I don't want to pay for it if I'm not going to like it and I have to buy something else that I do like. Or like, I don't want to wait extra to, to order this thing that I didn't like and then I have to wait some more to get the thing that I do like. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm very basic. I like chicken. I like fries. I like pizza. 
Um, I like, you know, lasagna. I don't like cheese on its own, which is weird, because I, I like pizza, that. lasagna, spaghetti. I don't know. It just depends. I'm not a big vegetable guy. I, I will have lettuce and spinach and a bunch of other crap every now and again. But I don't know. It's just something about food that I'm just so picky on. I think that is the thing I am the most, the most, um, what's the word? Yeah, I guess just picky. I want to have Subway in England because there's so much sugar in their bread that it's no longer considered bread, but it's cake. It's legally they classified have sugar as cake. In their bread? Yeah, the. Well, what? I mean, even in America, but I only know that the article that I read was about uh, the UK. But in the UK Subway, there was. They, like, they, they tested it and there was so much sugar in. Well, there's sugar in a lot of things that are savory. That's weird. But. I feel like that wouldn't taste good. A, a it's, sugary sandwich? It, but it, that's the thing. That's the thing. It's like salt. You add it to everything. Like there's a there's sugar in a lot of curry. Yeah, and but a lot of and salt and sugar are different. Salt is more of like a acquired warm taste. Sugar, it you would know it, it's sugar because it's sweet and rich. But that's where you're wrong. I don't know. Because there's sugar in most <gasps> bread. Like almost all. Oh yeah, except, I knew that. Like, there's but lots you can't of taste it. Well, yeah, but you can't taste it in the subway one either. But it's just the ingredient. It's oh. like they measured the ingredients, and it's like there's more sugar in this mm. than there should be. So we're going to classify this as cake. You can no longer market this as oh, bread. Oh, okay. It, it was like that. It wasn't like a taste difference. It was a. Oh, okay, okay. Here I thought it was going to be like a sugary sandwich. That does not. <laughs> yeah, I love good. taking like two slices of box cake mix <laughs> and then slapping some turkey and lettuce mm. in the between you honestly that sounds no, so that's gross good. <laughs> oh god honestly i am so hungry so i'm definitely gonna order something after this oh, that sounds like and something i already like... had subway today <laughs> so i think i'm gonna get extravagant order something else <laughs> oh god sandwich cake sounds like something like brownies with spinach in it that like parents would try and feed their kids <laughs> to get them to eat healthy Mm-hmm. Cake sandwich. That's ew. That's so nasty. <laughs> you got a favorite color, mate. Uh, <laughs> I used to? I don't know. I don't really have a favorite color. Well, I do, I guess, but not officially. Like, in my head, I haven't made it official. My favorite color used to be blue, but I use a lot of red and and blue online obviously but irl my favorite color to wear is black i like yeah. wearing black on black on black so i just haven't made it official but i think my favorite color as of now is black but it used to be blue like i said i'm picky as shit with everything so that's another example of my pickiness I mean, like, being picky, it's, it's normal, or at least I hope it is. It's a gift the and a curse. <laughs> oh man, it sucks sometimes. Sometimes I can't even order food right away, because I'm looking through everything, I'm just like, this looks good, this does too, do I want this, do I really want that? Oh my god, dude, it's, it's such a hassle. It is such a hassle. It's even worse when I don't get to pick the place to eat. And it's like I'm looking at the mm -hmm. menu and I'm like, uh... None of this looks good. I guess I'll eat that. Uh, you know? Yeah. Ugh. Like, I will say, my palate is getting a tad bit better. Like, now I eat more more adult things. Before, when we go out to eat with like, my family, friends, it always be chicken tenders chicken and fries. I was gonna say now, that I'm like chicken tendies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I moved to chicken sandwiches because I'm a big fan of chicken sandwiches. And but I recently have been getting into hamburgers because I never really got them as a kid. I didn't like them. I don't know. I don't know what it is about just the meat for it. I didn't like the patties. But now that I'm older, I crave them. Same with steak. I've never eaten steak until like a couple years ago. And now I'm a big steak guy. 
uh, I used to not like medium rare or rare because it looked gross. And now it's the only way I can have a steak. It's funny how your taste buds just change when you get older. It's always the little things that are interesting like that in life. Yeah, I try super hard to try new food, but uh, my my I think my taste buds are just broken. I, like I can't eat anything <laughs> if it comes out of water. I literally cannot eat it. Like oh seafood? seafood, yeah, dude, absolute. I can't do it. Can't. Actually, no, that's a lie. I want so desperately. I to do like, like some seafood. I want so desperately. Oh to no, like I'm it. never gonna like sushi. I'm no, I know I mean, I'm never just gonna the thought, like it. The thought of it being raw. I know, it's right? Just like, no. <laughs> I don't want to eat raw fish. I'm sorry. It's just a lot of things, too, that just gross me out like that. Like, I'm sure they taste good for people. I just don't want to try it. I do eat fish. I eat, like, baked fish, grilled fish. It depends. But for the most part, I do like fish. I just don't want to try a raw fish, octopus, anything else like that. I've tried. I used to like shrimp as a kid. Oh, God. I grew out of it. Yeah, like, I, I used and to then eat, I learned I, I learned that shrimp have so much poop in them. Yeah, it's I used nasty. I used to eat I used to eat fish when I was younger. I used to eat a lot of things when mm. I was younger. Like one of the big things that people don't understand is I don't eat ketchup. I, I can't even. You don't I, eat ketchup. I don't eat ketchup. Nope, I don't even like the smell. I know of some people that don't like ketchup too. But it's, it's one of those people things that, that people like are like, what? Eggs. Yeah, it's one of those foods that people yeah. are like, what? You don't like ketchup? And I'm just like, yeah. I hardly ever use ketchup, so I don't blame you. The only time I use ketchup is on eggs or on, uh, I guess, a hamburger every now and again. I hardly ever get it on a hamburger. Or I'll, I'll use it to dip my fries. But for the most part, I don't use it. It just depends if I'm in a ketchup mood. Very... Yeah, it's pretty unpopular opinion, not liking ketchup. At least on my part, from my mm -hmm. experience, people are like, what the hell? But then I can, like, drink mustard out of the bottle, and people are like, what the actual Oh, that's fuck? gross. Oh, yeah, I, like, you it see, is I've gross. Never actually... I can do it, but, but I don't like doing it. <laughs> yeah, like, I've never actually tasted mustard or ranch, any sauces like that. But I refuse to try them because they look or smell gross. Yeah, I understand that. Pickiness. Pickiness. Like, I don't like uh, other types of mustard. I only like yellow mustard. Like, I don't want honey mustard. I don't There's want other spice. types of mustard? Yeah, honey mustard, uh, spicy mustard, uh, brown mustard. Wow. Yeah, they have, like, different things in Interesting. there. Interesting. Like, uh, I think uh, brown mustard is mustard and barbecue sauce mixed together. Oh, you see, barbecue sauce. Now that I like with my chicken nuggets. That's barbecue yeah, I'm a sauce kid. Is a what about specific it? Specific brand, brand. It's got it's it's. If it's not mm. one brand, then it's like, eh, nah. I think I'm okay. I'll just eat my chicken nuggies. By that's true. Show. That's true. That's true. Cause like I can eat this familiar <clears throat> sauce, or I can eat Big Daddy's barbecue sauce, and I'm like, you know, that sounds kind of sketch. You bought this for like fifty <laughs> cents. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that one. Chief. You know, it, it's very. It's very comforting when you find people that are just like you. Like I'm sure people watching this video, people out there in the world, there's more people like us. Very picky ass people. And that's comforting to know. To, yeah, to know that there are people out there that... Because like my parents, they hate it. My parent, my dad cooks tons of food mm -hmm. that I'll just kind of like pick out a little bit, eat what I like out of it. Like my dad makes stir fry a lot and I'll just like eat the, the meat mm. out of it. And like, I guess I'll eat mm -hmm. like the broccoli, but like then leave out all the stuff that like you. makes it a Chinese stir fry, like like the yeah, bamboo shoots and water you. chestnuts. I'm like, yeah, I'm good, thank you. Fun fact, I'm Mexican, but I don't really <laughs> like Mexican food. <laughs> I if... thought that was your fun fact, is that you were Mexican. Oh I'm yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. the hell? <laughs> no, that, that's a fun fact. I'm Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I only like very No, but yeah, Mexican I really food. don't like Mexican food. I like tamales. I like tacos. Uh, I don't like tamales. <gasps> I don't I don't like beans. It's weird because like I said, it's like a thing you grow out of or grow into. Yeah. When I was a kid, I would eat nothing but beans, uh like seafood, like shrimp and stuff like that. And my parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, they gave me too much of that stuff. I eventually grew a hate sick of towards it. it. Mm -hmm. And to, yeah, I don't eat beans, I don't eat shrimp, I don't eat like certain things I used to eat as a kid. It's weird how taste buds do that. 
and also like your brain like you just become so sick of it you never want it again like i've never wanted to try beans again never wanted shrimp it's it's just weird yeah god food food as as you get older is just weird because like another one that i don't eat anymore yeah. like i used to love cake but now I don't eat it as much anymore. Because mm. it's like... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of cake anymore. Everyone always, like, has it. And it's always so sweet and fake tasting. It's like... Yeah. I'd rather have, like, a bag of potato chips. Like, you... Uh, for me, it depends. I do like my sweets. But it, I'm very picky. Very specific well. mood. I like cookies. <gasps> you can't go wrong with cookies. Unless they're, like... Unless you have some stupid thing inside the cookie. Like, I... I like raisin cookies not that much but i'll eat them I if, like you know, if someone cookies. gives it to me i try to like food that people don't like because then there's always some left for me mm. like you know oatmeal raisin cookies. Oh, that's nobody, smart. Ever, nobody ever that's fucking smart. eats those so i like like them mm. enough to the point where if all the chocolate chip cookies are gone i'm like well i guess it's not so bad i like oatmeal raisin cookies and then i get to eat like eight of oh, them that's when i would be mad because <laughs> i would prefer the chocolate chip cookies well yeah but, i would prefer them know, but i wouldn't I'll be eat upset the ones. yeah 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 I, I would. I'd be mad. I'd, I'd be knocking some skulls in my house. Uh, but yeah, we could literally go on and on for food. Right, food's just awesome. But great. Food? I'm so glad food was invented. I mean, people before food was invented probably just sucked, you know? People before food, before they found out they could eat stuff like that, they were just eating ass. <laughs> nah, photosynthesis. And now we eat food and food. eat ass. Yeah. You know, now ass is just a delicacy, uh, you know? Only those who can afford it can eat. Excuse it. <laughs> afford? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry. Excuse me? Don't worry about it. Don't think too much into what I say, man. <laughs> alright, alright. Say less, say less. Say less. <laughs> oh, man. EA. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> um... I guess I will, I, I, I'll end this video by asking you if you have any anime recommendations. Yes, I do. <clears throat> now, my favorite anime of all time is... Wait for it. It is Fairy Tale. That's right, I said it. A lot of people hate the anime because they hate the power of friendship fan. and all that shit. I've just seen that people service. hate it because it's fan service. Yeah. Everyone takes your clothes yeah, off. Yeah, like, shut up! Like, shut up! You don't like big boobies? You don't like guys with ripped abs? Shut up! Shut up! There's, there's anything for everyone in that anime. And it also has a great story. Great character. I love it. The show has made me cry. It made me angry because, you know, stuff will happen. And I'm angry along with the main characters. It's made me happy. Fantastic anime. Highly recommend it. Uh, I also recommend Jujutsu Kaisen right now. It is actually really good. Although, recently learned the fan base is toxic. But that's okay. It's not the whole fan base. It's just part of it. Uh, Attack on Titan is amazing. Let's see. What else? What else? Uh, any, I don't know. Like, There's a hit, lot of Any stuff hidden that I've gem seen. animes that like not too many people have heard of? Hidden gems? Um... Let's see, hidden gems, hidden gems. The Devil's a Part Timer. That's a great anime. It's on Netflix. Not finished, and I found it. Um, I enjoyed the hell out of it, but I learned it got canceled. But just recently, it was announced that there's a season two coming. It's gonna pick up where it left off, and it's gonna be awesome. It's a really good anime. I highly recommend to watch it. It's like a slice of life, uh, mixed with like fighting, like shonen. I don't know. It's it's really good i recommend it well awesome it's uh it's got everything well uh, I yeah thanks again time. steve thanks for having me thank you for joining me i had a very nice conversation yes but now it's about that time i hear children crying for help parents yelling i think i have to go <laughs> become a hero again you know, Dosty Ave. Until next time. Time to crash. Through the roof. <laughs> ah shit, I'm stuck. Dosty Ave? Um, yeah, I. Uh, I, 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 I. Oh, good. Uh, I'm. Uh, pinata time, children! Uh, come get your baby no, sticks! No! No! no. <laughs> <laughs> nice.
that's what I call a flashy <sighs> Hmm. Yes, I, I appreciate you joining me. Uh, I I told I Sage did one, and I was like I wanted to ask Lucha to do one, but I didn't know what to what to ask him about because like I try to keep come up with questions beforehand, um. And I couldn't come up with anything that, like, Vez or Mala hadn't already answered. And so I'm like, you know what? When I asked you, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll come up with something on the spot. And and I did. Hey, that's the best stuff, like I said. You come up with your best stuff last minute. <laughs> true, 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 true. And I'm, I'm very different than my friends. I'm, I'm, I would say I'm more outgoing, to be honest. My personality is wild out. It's out there. I've honestly so noticed that. I can come that. up with stuff on the spot. It is honestly kind of uh, interesting seeing your friend. <laughs> uh, I guess your friend group dynamic, how different everyone's personality is from each other. Mm hmm. Yeah, oh, really I love those thing. knuckleheads. Sometimes it depends. I want to beat the shot of them some days. <laughs> but that's just how friends go. So yeah, thank you, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Now I've got, for once, I've gotten a tub talks out of the way before Thursday, so I'm gonna edit it Wednesday night still, because <laughs> I am just not, very nice. Not gonna think about it. <laughs> very nice. Well, Steve, I wish you a farewell. I've got some people to save. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> um, I got lost. Uh, well, there really isn't an exit, so you're kind of stuck here till you can learn how to teleport. It's a, it's a tasteful skill oh. that you gather at a young age from my clan. Oh, you mean like this? Instant transmission! Whoa, then I think you're gonna be good, man. <laughs>